My name is Ileana Stigliani and I work as an assistant professor of design and innovation and I've been here at Imperial College Business School for seven years now. For me, being an academic is really about doing research and especially doing qualitative research, which means going to real organizations and talking to real people and trying to uh, help them solve real problems. Uh, and I also absolutely love writing. Although I have to say I also enjoy teaching a lot. So I try to balance both the research side and the teaching side as much as I can. What in general I'm interested in is in understanding how people in organizations, especially when they work in teams, how they make sense of new things. So how do they engage in sense-making and sense-giving processes? And these new things can be, for example, new products or services. So for example, I'm interested in how cognition unfolds uh, in the innovation process, but also how they make sense of themselves, how they, do they make sense of who they are as a new organization or as a new occupation or as a new uh, industry. The setting of my uh, research projects are usually uh, creative organizations, so most mostly design consulting firms, which is uh, interesting because that gave me the opportunity to really understand how designers work and think. Design thinking is becoming more and more relevant and a lot of organizations are recognizing that good design can lead and translate into good business. So they are recognizing the impact for their bottom line that design and designers can have. And so as a result, a few business schools are introducing design thinking in their programs and uh, Imperial College Business School is definitely at the forefront of this trend. If I had the power to solve one problem, I think I would increase people's level of empathy. Uh, empathy is something that we uh, very often overlook. It's the ability to uh, understand how people feel in a certain situation and try to feel how we might feel in the same situation. It's very powerful because it's the gateway to compassion. And I think that lots of issues uh, in the workplace or in, in the world in general could be solved if we had more empathy and then also more compassion for each other.